Hi, I'm Linda. I'm the owner and operator of Marlow Pool. You might know me as CryptoFly777 on Twitter for starting the pineapple pizza debate. And today's video is all about Jet. Jet comes from the Egyptian language and means stability. It is a key part of the Egyptian mythology. However, for Cardano, Jet is a stable coin. It is sometimes referred to as an algorithmic one, but in reality it is an over-collateralized stablecoin that is backed by a large reserve of ADA. JET is based on the HUSD research paper that was authored by the Ergo Foundation, IOG and Emergo. It has then been created in partnership between IOG and Coty. IOG has created the back end while Coty is responsible for the front end as well as maintaining the infrastructure and support. The first and current iteration of JET is what is known as Minimal JET. It is using Plutus version 1 smart contracts. The next upgrade will bring Plutus version 2, which is a much more efficient smart contract with lower transaction fees. This will help to reduce any congestion on the blockchain. The upgrade following that will be version 1.3. This will release what is known as Extended JET. But how does JET exactly work? Well, in simple terms, it involves three parties. ADA as the base coin, Shen as the reserve coin backing JET and JET as the stablecoin itself. To make it work, the protocol needs the reserve providers and the stablecoin minters. Reserve providers supply ADA and in return they mint Shen. This ADA is being collected and stored in the reserve pool. Since JET is an over-collateralized stablecoin, the minting of Shen ensures that there is always a large reserve of ADA backing JET to maintain its peg. Each Shen token represents a share of the underlying reserve. The stablecoin minters supply a dollar value of ADA to mint JET. An oracle with multiple price fees keeps track of what the dollar value of ADA is and feeds this information to the smart contract to ensure that one dollar worth of ADA is paid out upon redeeming one JET. The ideal collateralization ratio between Shen and JET lies between 400 to 800 percent. The 400% figure comes from the research of the historical price movement of ADA. From this data, they took the worst month with a movement of 66%. This meant that 300% collateralization would protect against the DPEG, so for added security, it was set to 400%. Having such a high collateral backing jet ensures that the stablecoin maintains its peg in nearly all situations. If the ratio falls below 400%, no new jet can be created and no shen can be burned. In the scenario that the ratio goes over 800%, no new shen can be minted. However, jet can still be burned as the protocol ensures that jet is always redeemable. But why would we even want to buy shen to support the protocol? Well, there are multiple incentives to do so. Thanks to Cardano's proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, all the ADA that is locked in the smart contract from purchasing Shen can be staked to a Cardano stake pool. And the majority of these ADA rewards are then distributed to Shen holders. Currently, the ADA is staked to a pool run by WAVE. However, this is just a temporary solution. And as soon as multiple delegation is available, the ADA will be staked to private and community pools, which is pretty amazing as it helps decentralization and supports the entire ecosystem as a whole. Secondly, Shen is a long position on ADA, which essentially means that you believe that the ADA price will go up over time. As the price of ADA increases and a natural minting and burning of JET occurs, the reserve treasury will grow. Here is how. This example is for illustrative purposes only. It ignores the limitations as well as any fees. So let's assume that ADA is at $1. Linda holds 1000 ADA and wants to lock in the value of some DeFi gains. Steve is an ADA whale and holds 4000 ADA. He thinks that ADA will increase in value soon. In order to go long, Steve mints 4000 Shen. Linda locks in her gains by depositing 1000 ADA into the JET protocol and mints 1000 JET. The protocol now has 5000 ADA stored in it. Now, let's say that the price of ADA increases to $1.20. Linda decides that she wants to swap her jet back to ADA. With ADA now being at $1.20, her 1000 jet are now worth 833 ADA. The protocol now holds 4166 ADA. Now Steve decides that he wants to sell his Shen and claim what is in the Shen reserves. He will now receive 4166 ADA. That's a gain of 166 ADA over his initial deposit of 4000. Just keep in mind that the opposite situation occurs if the price of ADA goes down. Lastly, the fees for minting and burning JET as well as Shen are added into the reserve. You will collect those fees once you burn your Shen. Here's a quick example. 
And again, please remember that these figures are for illustration only and do not reflect actual returns. So let's say the ADA price remains at $1. There are 10 Shen holders, all holding 1,000 Shen each. This amounts to 10,000 ADA worth of Shen in the reserve pool. The fees that come from minting and burning jet have now added up to 1,000 ADA. Now there's 11,000 ADA in the reserve. Dividing this amongst the 10 Shen holders equals an increase of 100 ADA each. Please note that the rewards are distributed in proportion to your Shen holdings. The fees are currently set to 1.5% of the mint burn value, but keep in mind that the fees are scheduled to change with later versions of JET, so just make sure to keep an eye on all the official Koti platforms for the most up-to-date fees. Koji collects 25% of the staked ADA rewards and while this sounds like a large amount, the staking rewards for Shen holders are slightly higher than normal. This is because the ADA that is collected from minting JET is also staked and then distributed to Shen holders. However, it is planned to have variable fees in later versions of JET. At the current moment, you can only mint a minimum of 5,000 JET and burn a minimum of 1,000 JET. As for Shen, you can mint a minimum of 5,000 Shen and burn a minimum of 2,500 Shen. Each time that JET or Shen are minted or burned, Koti collects the fixed operational fee of 100 ADA. This ADA is then used to buy the Koti coin at market rates. This Koti is then added to the Koti treasury for Koti holders in their staking application. In Minimal Jet, there are some known issues that have been published. You can find those problems in greater detail in their white paper. The main one being the reserve draining attack with price foresight. While this sounds alarming, this is based on being able to predict the price change of ADA, either by oracle delays or ADA price manipulation, the latter not being easy to do. This was attempted on Ergo in the now infamous bear whale attack. Ultimately, this was unsuccessful and the attacker lost around $100,000. The next one is the wholesale discount, which means that bulk buying of Shen is cheaper than buying it in smaller amounts. The remaining issues are zero equity, rigid fees, haircut for jet holders and RC bank runs. Many of these are fixed in the extended jet version, which is planned in the version 1.3 release. There are also risks for Shen holders. If the collateralization level drops below 400%, then they will not be able to burn their Shen until it rises back above the 400% ratio. However, you will still be able to trade Shen on DEXs provided that there is enough liquidity. We have already seen JET integrated on some of the DEXs now with major pools on MinSwap and Wing Riders. Fluid Tokens has integrated JET to allow for the creation of loans and interest payments of JET using NFTs as collateral. Multiple other platforms that are launching in the near future also plan to integrate JET for either stablecoin loans, collateral or payment. One of the major real-world use cases is JetPay. This makes it possible to pay for goods directly with Jet to vendors who have integrated the JetPay platform. This is a major step for Cardano's mass adoption that has been largely overlooked. And I can't stress this enough. This is huge. Well, this is it for today. So make sure you tune in next time and happy jetting.